In this quick tutorial, I will show you how to um, how to adjust the spacing between a bullet and the text to the right of it. Um, one thing you must remember is when you apply bullets, bullets are actually paragraph styles. So, for example, if I were to just tap on this first line right here and go up to type and drop down to bullets and apply bullets, you notice that the bullet is inserted, but look, the basic paragraph style has been modified because it tells you that one of these things has changed. So what we're going to do now is we're going to create a new paragraph style while the paragraph is still selected, and we're going to call it bulleted text. Okay, so now we have two paragraph styles. We have the basic paragraph style here, and the bulleted text here. So what I'm going to do right now is I, I, I like the fact that I have a bullet here, but there's too much space between the bullet and the word dog. Well, that's an easy fix. So let's say, for example, in the control panel, you'll see something that looks like this right here, where it's an indent and a first line indent. And you will also find it if you go up to type and you drop down to um, where it says uh, paragraph, you'll see the same configuration here the overall indent and then the first line indent. So the way you change the spacing is in this, you want to start off with the first line indent. And I'm going to make that, I'm working in PyCast and points, and I'm just going to make that a PyCast. So I'm going to delete the six. All right. And as you can see, it moved the bullet closer to the word. Then I'm going to change the indent. So I'm going to delete that six. And now you can see it brought it back to the alignment. So now that I have that adjustment here, okay, I'm going to come back to my paragraph style, and you can see that now the bulleted text has the little plus sign. That's because we have modified the bullet, we have we modified the style, the bulleted style, by adjusting the bullet. So what we're going to do is we're going to say redefine style. So now that's going to be our new default. Now that that's our new default, we can highlight all three, or you can just highlight the two remaining and hit bulleted text. And now you're going to see it picks up the same value as the first paragraph. Now you might say, well, why do we call that a paragraph style? Well, it's simple because if I were to collapse this frame, you'll notice that the turnovers, in other words, the second line for these um, three paragraphs will align to the first line indent right here. Okay, so that's why they are paragraph styles. And let's say, for example, if I wanted to add the spacing between the paragraphs, because it's a paragraph style, I'm going to click off so nothing is selected. Double click on bulleted text, drop down to indents and spacing. And let's just say I say I can say here and I give it any value. I'll make it one pica after every paragraph. I'll say OK. So now you can see. It's treating this as a paragraph. So you have your alignment here, and you can adjust your spacing. And this is really the easiest way to manipulate bullets in text in InDesign.